Hello guys, welcome to uh, another jQuery video tutorial. In this video we will implement our first uh, jQuery uh, user interface code or our first jQuery um, UI widget into our web page. So the first thing we will need is I want you guys to go here and click get started in the jQueryUI.com and down here where it says basic overview using jQuery UI on a web page um, I want you guys to copy this to your um, HTML um, file okay but um, we have to create first uh, our first um, the HTML so what I'm gonna do is create new file and let's type here HTML close HTML head close head and body and close body okay now inside the body I want you guys to create an input type equals text give it an ID let's call it query and uh, this is going to be a div ID result and close div okay so what we will create in this tutorial is an autocomplete um, function okay to work like this pretty much like this I'm going to show you um, the demo you have here autocomplete so you have a box in here an input and whenever we click a for example we have a bunch of um, basically like a live search and uh, it searches immediately for whatever words uh, start with a this is not very accurate um, because what I want to do is only actually um, output or show the uh, words starting with an A okay not with B E F um, just starting with A okay and then if I type a C uh, this is okay it appears action script and T okay and um, I'm gonna show you how to do that and um, I'm gonna also show how to uh, we will build a MySQL database and how to uh, query that database through this application okay um, so let's go back to this file here let's save as let me save this in my HT docs. I'm gonna save this uh, autocomplete dot HTML. Okay, perfect. So now in here between head we have to type the those lines that I showed you before that were in here. Here, let me see. Let's go back. Back. Get started. And down here we have these lines. Okay. And basically these lines uh, loads the jQuery files that you need to use the autocomplete functionality. So copy this. Go back to your notepad and paste it here okay so we have a style sheet um, the jQuery 1.44 and the jQuery UI 1.8.15 the current version so now another thing we have to do is to make sure that we uh, are uh, that we have these files in the correct um, directories okay 
so to make sure of that you have to go to your HD docs and I'm gonna create here a new directory I'm gonna call this autocomplete and um, I'm gonna copy this jQuery UI where we have all the widgets and all those stuff uh, that we we will need copy that uh, paste it here we have the, all the those CSS files and whatever we need is all in here in this directory jQuery UI that I show you how to download this in the last video if you don't know how to download this you can go to the last video okay um, now inside autocomplete I want to put the autocomplete HTML okay and okay perfect and now in here uh, let me close this and let me reopen the autocomplete and in here let's type jQuery UI okay and uh, jQuery UI slash and jQuery UI okay save that and we are ready to start coding okay uh, automatically this loads all that we need to use the autocomplete okay so let's proceed now in here let's type script close script okay we can start coding some jQuery now so let's type document ready function okay save this now what I want to do now the first thing I want to do is to grab with the selector is to grab uh, the query itself okay so ID is query so let's type here oops uh, query it's not dollar sign query dot and now we type auto complete okay and this should be enough um, to let me type here forgot between the parentheses we type the square brackets the curly braces and in here we type source okay um, and the source is what list do we want to output to the user when he searches from what list do you want to search so we can type either a PHP file here or um, a variable to search local um, local values that we type in here inside the JavaScript code or jQuery code I'm going to show you how to do that first before we do some MySQL searches. So let's create a variable x is going to be equal and now we type uh, square brackets okay and inside square brackets let me type here first um, let's say name no sorry uh, let's say Alex dot Victor dot um, oops John dot Richard okay and uh, semicolon, uh, semicolon and now in here you can uh, put here the values that you want as many as you want okay and now in here we type X okay so source is going to be the variable X and uh, that's basically it we uh, we now should see some results in our uh, web page so let's save this and now we what we have to do is start um, this Apache and MySQL we will need this to the next for the next um, 
few minutes when we create a MySQL database. Okay, but you can turn that on. And um, I think that's it. Let me run this in Chrome. And uh, okay, here it is. Uh, the thing is that we have to go to localhost, localhost slash auto complete, click enter. And we have the autocomplete.html. Click there. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, this is not working, so we have an error. Let me check. I think where the error is, I know that is in here. So in here, what it says, uh, the name, theme name. Let's take that out, and you're gonna type UI lightness okay which is uh, your default theme okay guys so let me check if everything else is okay save this and instead of 1.4.4 is 1.6.2 okay and just let me check that Auto complete. Let me check in here. CSS UV lightness. There it is. And GS is 1.6.2 and 1.8.15. Okay, uh, I think it's all great now. Let's uh, refresh the page and try it now refresh and if I click A I now have Alex and Richard okay and if I click V I have Victor okay so this is searching uh, the list that we've built in here okay for each letter we uh, type okay guys now what I'm going to uh, show you how to do uh, or how you can apply it into your web page a little bit more complex is to create a MySQL database and make some jQuery code to call um, a PHP file where uh, that we will create to um, query our values from the input in here okay uh, we will send these uh, values or this query to our PHP file. Our PHP file will then query the MySQL database. We will then have some return values in JSON and then output all them, uh, all those values in here. Okay, for each time we unkey up the search or uh, type a letter. Okay, all from our MySQL database. Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to do is to go to this website here uh, snipe pplr.com slash view slash one uh, oh two oh three and down here you have uh, all uh, US states a list that uh, I want you guys to grab this uh, before that you have to click in here plain text and this will make uh, a database in our web page, in our uh, MySQL database, sorry. So let me type in here PHP my admin. Holy crap. PHP my admin. Local host PHP my admin. And let's create um, quickly a new database. So I'm going to create here. Let's type, let's call this testing. 
create okay there we go and now let's go back to that page down here and make sure you grab all the code in here grab it and uh, god damn it and copy and in here we go to SQL this is where we can put the commands or yeah or the um, this is where you want to have uh, your code that we copied before okay paste it here all that execute and this should create um, uh, there it is a new table called states okay with all the US states uh, list okay this is these are the states that I'm gonna search for okay in the input with the autocomplete okay so let's go back So let's delete this. We will not need that. And uh, now that we have our uh, MySQL uh, database ready, I'm going to end this video uh, now and we will continue in the next video. Okay? So see you guys later. Bye.